if, if you are actually talking about investing in yourselves, so in terms of in investment into yourselves and your careers, but also personally, what would you consider like one of the best investments in yourself? Uh, it's probably going to seg nicely to Dean this, but um, learning, always learning. I think as an artist, no matter what stage of your career, you're always investing in yourself uh, you know, as a, in a business sense, but early in your career, and even later in as well, is, is, is learning and, and um, putting the time in to, to develop the skills that you need to be able to be an artist. People like Dean teaching you. Um, I've got to give it to Danny, though, because he taught me how to use Ableton. Thanks, mate. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I, I can't do what it. you do in it, but yeah. Right. I wouldn't be using it if it wasn't for you. Yeah, so, yes, learning is, is a big thing. But at the same time, when you're learning, that can be quite difficult. So I think... Uh, it, I don't think it's good to just sort of sit and watch YouTube videos all day because, for me, the information goes in one ear and comes out the other. I think you've got to be actually doing it, you know. I, just put yourself in front of the computer and just try it. Just, just do it. Uh, some people are so scared of actually doing it that they kind of spend too much time learning and not enough time doing. And I think there's a point where you've got to go, right, I'm just going to do it and just see what happens, you know. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I agree with that. I was just going to I used to do that. I used to watch YouTube videos of tutorials by, as I'm going to bed, thinking and then fall asleep and just would learn nothing. So, yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> and then actually you have to put out the content that you make and don't be afraid of it. And yeah. just by the moment you put it out and uh, this is when you reach sort of the end point of the whole process and then you repeat it again and again and again. Yeah, you've got to leave room for trial and error. Um, you mentioned the 10-year thing. Like, I first opened Logic 10 years ago, and I'm now in a position where I can enter a studio with, with an artist and feel, you know, confident in my ability, but that's only through literally sitting down. And I'm like you. I can't do the YouTube thing. I've never really watched a YouTube tutorial, and I feel like, you know, I, just, the way my brain works, I just can't. I can't do it. I'm an addict. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, speaking of addicts, um, another thing that I've done, not that I was an addicted to alcohol, but... I've actually gone teetotal, so I've been teetotal for two years now, wow. um, and there was no real issue per se, but I just think it really hindered me in some in some respects, and my parents are at the back, and they probably agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, you saying all the right things. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think that's really <clears throat> helped me show up for myself. It's given me a lot more time. Mm. Um, I can show up every day on a Sunday morning, a Saturday morning. You know, I can even stay up till 3 a.m. producing and still feel kind of rested if I wake up at 7 or 8. Um, and, yeah, I think that in itself has been probably the biggest investment that I've made yeah. because I knew that what I wanted to achieve was far more important than spending my money on booze, getting you know yeah. messed up at the weekend, turning up to meetings hungover. I just was like, cool, what do I actually want from this? Um, figured it out, and I was like, yeah, that, that's it. And you just, you just surrender, and you just give up no, everything really else that, that gets that. in your way. You've invested time to learning you know, logic, and then something personal as well for yourself, which you can feel improvement. Have you guys got something similar that you could share that it feels been like a personal investment that you've seen a positive change? Um, it's similar to, to Alex, actually. Um, I mean, I know people like to enjoy um, the clubs when they go out and enjoy a drink or whatever, but it, what, the point that um, I was getting from that is there's so many artists, so many people that want to be there or you know, have all similar or the same goals. Like, how much do you actually want it? What are you prepared to sacrifice to get there? And that is a big one. And um, yeah, similar. Um, I haven't given up alcohol, but things like taking more care of myself with the gym and what I eat. Um, I'm not going to get all like preachy about it, but it's it actually d does help um, being able to show up, perform to a high standard. Because even for someone that's you know been 10 years in the game, there's always someone waiting in the wings, ready to take your place if you're not yeah. doing doing what you you know what you're fortunate enough to be able to do. Did um, you find early on in your career that you got a bit lost in that? Or did yeah, you see it could no, be easy I did. To just I, get in, I was drinking every week. No, um, 24 years old, just got my Radio One show. All of a sudden, I'm DJing you know, Ibiza in all these different places, and it's like you know, with my mates, it's easy to get caught up in it. But you soon realise that yeah. you can't sustain it. Both health 
reasons, but also um, for, for your career as well. And I've always found it fascinating that a promoter books you to perform, yeah. and then they sort of go, here's all this stuff to get absolutely smashed, and yeah. they want to get the best out I'm of it. I'm seeing it with well. a lot of artists at the moment. I'm not going to name names, but like on Instagram, I'm seeing um, Instagram story, sorry, I can't make the show due to X, reason X, Y, Z. And I bet most of the time it's down to not looking after themselves. I'm not talking about one person. I've seen it multiple yeah. different artists, but it's 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 tough to be to be able to travel, uh, produce social media, um, do the gig, DJ, uh, socialize. It's like it's, it's it's very tiring. So then throw in body abuse on top of that. It's not going to be a good outcome. So. <laughs>